oh my. Fraud was exposed, L's were a handeth, and here's your boys, MM2K's reaction to all of it, to the best damn podcast episode four. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because you know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so, Best Damn Podcast, Episode 4, is now amongst us. And man, it was a hell of a show, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we covered a whole wide depth of stuff, man. And we just, you know, we keep trying to bring more and more innovative ways of talking about what's going on in the gaming community. And, and sometimes it's just society altogether uh, via the show. It's a little bit more construct. It's a little bit more organized. And we hope that you guys feel it's a lot more entertaining. But for those of you that have not caught the show yet, I seriously urge you to catch it. Or even if you didn't catch the show yet, here goes my, my high level take and reaction to the show. And after that, uh, hopefully y'all can just, you know, go and check the show afterwards. All right. So first and foremost, we talked a little bit about Naughty Dog um, and their Gears of War uh, fanboying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Naughty Dog had sent out a tweet, courtesy of Neil Druckmann, I believe, congratulating uh, coalition on the release of Gears, you know, and this is amidst all of the good news and stuff that Gears have been getting in the media. Uh, following that, we talked about the mo the Joker movie that's going to be uh, forthcoming, and the surprising accolades that that movie is that movie is starting to get. And we also touched a little bit about your homie Porter Rock. You know what I'm saying? He's a big DC comic. He's a big comic fan altogether. You know what I mean? And he's not too happy about how Joker's being presented. So he, you know, has been clowning it. And we talked a little bit about how his thought process behind this movie and how it would tank. It don't look like it's going to come to fruition. So we threw him under the bus a little bit, but that's the homie P-Rock, right? Uh, and then, you know, we talked a little bit about the Dave Chappelle uh, comedy special that was on Netflix and how that's getting a lot of uh, attention, to, to say the least. And... We focus a lot on major publications now. It's big fail on trying to get the show censored. There's a big push to do that. And people that have watched the show, including myself, we have our own reaction to that attempt. So we talk about that in detail. I think you'll appreciate that discussion. We also talk about the, the praise that Astral Chain has been getting, right? The um, new game from... Uh, Platinum, Platinum Games, I believe it is. It's, it is a Nintendo Switch exclusive. And your boy, the Emperor Baron, has been talking high and mighty about this game. And it's gotten some, some good reviews. The problem is, is that he just swears it's going to be game of the year. And we talk about his current scores and how, how that might conflict with how Baron feels about the game being certified game of the year. But you gotta check the show for that if you haven't already. And of course, we've done our clown section, you know, where we look at the community as 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 a whole and look at some of the foolish statements within the community, including some stuff from our own panel member. Post up with the close up. Yeah, we, we hey, look, anybody can get it as we say on the show. And of course, we had our FN of the day, and more particularly, uh, we talked about a, a breadth of other things. And for those of you that are still apprehensive about watching the show or what, what the show was all about, I just want to turn y'all, turn everyone's attention real quick to uh, comments from, from one of the subscribers and a newbound fan of the show. So check this out. This is coming courtesy of your homie, L the Ace. And he commented, man, Z, y'all killing it. I'm feeling this balance, Kratos, keep it up, bro. Mass was saying what I was thinking the whole show, and now Tim Dog ish was freaking hilarious. But man, that little hate culture segment, and we talked about uh, 
uh, uh, the quarterist, I believe his name is, something that he had said, that which was off the chain, but you got to watch the show to get more detail. But uh, um, to continue on, he says that, that hey, culture segment, you guys hit that ish right on the head. Why do these guys that call people out for taking offense to things that may be offensive to whatever group believe that they have the power to dictate what is or what is not offensive? Is this not the same stance that SJWs, he meant to say whistleblowers denounce? It seems that SJW whistleblowers are more SJW than the ones they point the finger at. Glad you're using your platform, how you do, bro. And, I, and I've been rocking out with you since 2014. I see and appreciate the growth. I hope my input helps you in some way. I want to go back to what he said in particular about the whole SJW thing. That's why I say I don't like using the term SJW because it's an oxymoron to me. Anybody that is um, going and making videos or pronouncing something in any political stance or any political litmus can consider themselves and is considered rather an SJW, a social justice warrior, if you don't know what that acronym stands for. You're, you're doing social justice for your political beliefs. So I don't, I don't go by SJW. I like to say, um, you know what I mean? The, the, the political shamers, you know, the political shamers, you know what I'm saying? People that try to use a political stance to try to shame other people. Rather, I think that's a more um, accurate depiction of these particular type of, of people out here in, in social media nowadays. But with that said, as you can see, we cover a wide depth in this show. You definitely want to check it out out the link to the show is below don't miss a moment of it the best damn podcast period episode four i hope you guys like it i hope you guys like my reaction to it and if you like the show while you're there checking it out please give it a like and subscribe to next gen 720's channel and if you like my dog crap channel give me a like here give me a subscribe here i appreciate all of y'all and with that being said you guys have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace